You like buffalo wings? You're gonna love this. So as you're aware, we've been doing our tailgate series and tailgating entails all kinds of great food. I love the spicy buffalo chicken wings. I love the sausages we did, but all kinds of food go into tailgating. Well, today we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna combine buffalo wings with bacon, with chicken, with onions, and with blue cheese. I mean, with a combination like that, it's just gotta be good. I call it the buffalo onion bomb. Our first ingredient we're gonna start with is our ground chicken. It's all chicken breast meat and it's nothing but chicken. So we're gonna put this in our bowl and get started. So I'm gonna add the chicken to the bowl and that's that. Chicken is very lean, so we wanna add some fat into it so we get some nice flavoring. So we're gonna put about three tablespoons of butter in with the chicken meat. Now, like I said, it's called a buffalo onion bomb, so we wanna use some nice hot sauce in here. So we're gonna add this right into our chicken. And that's all we're gonna do for this. So now we just mix it all together, combine it all beautifully. That's a lot of sauce, that's gonna be nice and spicy. And that is all for our chicken mixture. So we're gonna set this aside and get to work on our onion. Okay, the first step of this process, we wanna cut the each end off of the onion. Not a lot of it, so we're just gonna cut a small amount of each end off of the onion, and then we're gonna peel it. And there we have two beautiful half onions that we're gonna fill in with our chicken mixture. Remember that beautiful spicy chicken mixture we made before? Well, let's grab some of that. I'm using a glove because I'm handling raw chicken. You want to fill it right up so that you got it nice and even. Flat just like that, so it's nice and even on both sides, and we got each half filled. And take your fingers and make a little dent like that. Why am I doing that? Because we're going to put blue cheese in there, because who ever heard of buffalo wings without blue cheese? And we're not using ranch, we're using blue cheese. We're going to do the same thing to the other half. So we'll grab some chicken mixture, fill her up, little hole for the blue cheese, and now let's fill her up. And now that they're loaded with blue cheese and they're ready, all we do is put the two halves together. It's okay if some squeezes out, that's all right. We're gonna take care of that. You wanna have a couple toothpicks handy because we're gonna need them in a minute, but we're gonna wrap this baby in bacon. So the easiest way that I've found to do it is to lay two bases of bacon in a crisscross X pattern like this, okay? And when we do it, you wanna make sure that your bacon is going to cover up the seam. So we pull it right up over the seam as such, front and back, nothing left untouched. And we're gonna put the toothpick in to secure it, there. We'll put one right in the top to secure it all together. And we'll throw another one in this side too, what the heck. There we go, it looks like an alien now. So as is normal as the way we film our videos here, and if you've been watching, you know, it's filming day, so it's raining. So instead of us going to the tailgate party, we're gonna take the tailgate party to us, again, here it is. So we're gonna be cooking these indirect, which means we're gonna have our convector in here or our separator, our plate setter, whatever you wanna call it. It's called a convector, that's the real name. We're gonna use a couple of Fogo fire starters. We're gonna set these right in the center of the charcoal to get this lit, because we're gonna cook indirect, so we don't want the heat coming up. We don't want flames coming up around the side. So we're gonna light the charcoal right in the middle. So let's get this baby lit up. So we're gonna put two of our fire starters right in the center here, dig a little hole. Put them right in the center, because that's where we want our fire. And now let's light them up. We've reached the magic number of 300 degrees. Now, I would normally cook these at 350 degrees, but what I've noticed is on the Minimax, maybe because it's so small and the grate is so pl uh, close to the convector, that the bottoms tend to get burnt a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it at 300 today, and maybe the bottoms won't get so burnt. Let's test it out together, shall we? So we're gonna load them onto the egg here. Like I always like to say, bombs away. <laughs> Cause they're buffalo onion bombs. We're gonna let these go until that bacon is nice and crispy. Cause I can't stand undercooked bacon. I like my bacon crispy. So we're gonna load it up. Plus all of that chicken in the middle has to have time to cook. So we wanna make sure that everything is cooked all the way through. By the time the bacon is crispy, that chicken inside will be absolutely cooked through. That blue cheese in the melt is gonna be nice and melty. It's gonna be a buffalo onion bomb. Now, the other thing too is if you want to, you can add some barbecue rub to the top of this, doesn't hurt. Add, use whatever kind of different things you might wanna try, add some more flavor to it. But I think you'll see as it is, it's got a ton of flavor as it is. Now let's let it cook. 
Oh, it's actually 6.30, but it's getting dark already now. Middle of October and it's getting dark. So let's check these things out. They're about three quarters of the way done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more hot sauce and just dump a little over the top. Give it a little extra flavor. Are you ready for this? Because these babies are done. The buffalo onion bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those things. You can hear them crackling away. That chicken inside is fully cooked. It's about 180 degrees actually, so for ground chicken it's probably overdone. Let's take these porcupine sticks out of here, our toothpicks. Get rid of them so we can cut it open and get ready to eat. go. I just poured a little bit of blue cheese because if it's got buffalo chicken, I want blue cheese on it. What do you think? More? Look, look at all of that's on there. I'm not putting more. No, I won't put, I won't do it. I'll be in the doghouse later. I'll pay for this one later. Trust me. All right. So what do you think? What do you think? How does that look to you? It looks pretty. Does everybody know Lynn, by the way? It's amazing Hi, how this works. Whenever the food gets finished, all of a sudden people want to come outside and join us. So amazing. Well, I'm glad that you're here. Thanks, honey. So what do you say we cut in and taste a little piece? So you know what we got here? We've got ground chicken, we got buffalo sauce, and cooked inside of an onion wrapped in bacon. Does that sound good? I'm ready. Okay, I hope so. The true test. <laughs> it's quite a mouthful I gave you, I know. <laughs> Come on, it's a tailgate party. You gotta have a lot. So we got the thumbs up. We got the thumbs up. All right, That's really good. I'm going in. I like that bacon to be a little cooked a little bit more than that, but, but it's okay. Cheers, everybody. Let's see what we got. I made this a couple weeks ago for us, but I don't think I used quite as much blue cheese and I definitely didn't use as much hot sauce. The butter mixing into the chicken was absolutely perfect. Gave it great flavor. So that combined with a lot of sauce and the blue cheese on top, outstanding. You know what else? You weren't here, but I took the, uh, the hot sauce and I dumped some on top of it while it was cooking for the last couple minutes. So it kind of baked it on there nice too. So it's got that really nice flavor. It really is delicious. So a yin and yang. It does have a yin and yang, kind of like me and you, or yin and yang, right? That's right. Anyway, sorry about that corniness, folks, but it's what we are. Anyway, listen, make these for your tailgate party. You will not be sorry. I know I say that all the time, but we only make food that we think is worthy for you to eat. So go ahead, try these out. Remember to get out and grill, and we will see you next time on The Fogo Life.